Hey, what's going on guys? So I wanted to do a quick video on my biggest regret in real estate. Um, and what I mean by that is when I was 19 or 20, I was on the cusp of being 20 maybe, um, at the time I lived in Colorado. I live in South Dakota now in the Black Hills, but at the time I lived in South or in Colorado, and I lived near Colorado Springs, in Pueblo. I was working in Colorado Springs at the time, and I uh, befriended a real estate agent. It's kind of how I got started in real estate. I befriended him. He uh, showed me kind of the, how the lifestyle was, what the business was like, and that type of thing. And he encouraged me. He said, Christian, you should definitely buy a house. And, you know, I was kind of like, okay, you know, I'm 19, 20. I think at the time I was probably making 50000 a year-ish, maybe sixty. dollars um, So I was making good money for my age especially. And so I, you know, I was like, yeah, I could probably afford them pretty easily. So we went through the process. And, um, you know, at the time he said, the market's gonna explode. He was like, the market in Colorado Springs is gonna keep going up and get a really good deal right now on something and, and uh, build for the future. So we looked at a few homes and I, was, I don't know why, I was just kind of nervous about it. Didn't wanna get stuck to a property, that type of thing. Anyways, we find this property, he's like, I think you should make an offer on it. And I think it was a, it was a three bed, two bath, maybe 2,000 square feet. And it was kind of like a condo townhouse setup. It was his own building, but it was in like a complex and it had amenities and stuff like that. Anyways, long story short, it was about $120,000 for this townhouse, okay? In a really nice part of Colorado Springs. So we put an offer on it at, I think, 5,000 less than 115. They accept it right away. And I got cold feet and decided, maybe I don't wanna buy a house. Am I really gonna be attached to this? Um, is this really worth it? I'm only 19, 20, I don't know if I wanna be stuck to this. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of the excuses, right? So I back out of the property. Uh, back out of it for, I think we backed out of it in the, um, what phase was it in? Probably in the negotiation phases for um, home inspection, be my guess. I don't really remember exactly, but that's kind of where I think I backed out on it. And so anyways, long story short is that has been about, that has been six or seven years ago now. And now that same condo, I did the math the other day on how much it's worth versus what I paid for it. The equity I would have is what I paid off and all that kind of stuff. And all in all, I lost about $150,000 to $170,000 by not buying that condo because he was right. That area exploded. Uh, the prices went up in, insanely high in that area. Uh, my equity had been great. I would have got such a good deal on it that I could sell it for probably, you know, almost $150,000 more than what I bought it for, which is crazy that it went up that much in that short a time period. But I definitely regret doing that, you know? Um, looking back on it, I could have just bought it and put a renter in there and paid my mortgage for it. You know, I rented a room or two and lived there for free. Wasn't thinking that way at the time, unfortunately. But the whole reason I say this and tell you the story is sometimes it seems like, you know, oh gosh, I'm nervous about this. I don't know if it's right. I don't know if it's the right thing to do when actually it's probably the best decision you can make at the time. And I saw this quote the other day that said, Ask any chef, comedian, or tennis player. Timing is everything. And it's 100% true in real estate. Um, and you know, in tennis, it's very true as well. I've been a tennis player most of my life. But in real estate, it's definitely true because if I would have bought that house at the peak of the market in like 2006, 2007, it would have been a bad idea. But if I would have bought it six, seven years ago, it would have been a great idea because the timing of when I bought it. Now, a lot of markets in the U.S. right now are still on an incline, um, and especially if you're in the Black Hills area, uh, South Dakota is on an extremely incline right now, more than we have been for the last 15, 20 years. And all the experts that are much smarter than me are saying that's gonna happen, it's gonna continue to happen for the next five, 10 years. Another thing I found interesting was thinking about now, like, and is now the perfect timing, you know, to buy something, or should you wait? Should I, you know, should I wait till longer? Out of the last six market recessions, so that is a market recession is technically um, two straight quarters of the market declining, um, the stock market declined, that's called a recession technically. Now, out of the last six of those we've had, only one of the last six, and this I think this goes back to 1989, 1990, something like that. Out of the last six, only one the housing market has declined. And when was that? That was 2008, obviously, the most fresh one on our mind, right? So with that being said, all the experts that I listen to, and again, they're much smarter than I am, 
are saying that in the next recession that we have, because we will inevitably have one, right? Um, the housing market will most likely either stay flat nationally or increase slightly in prices. So found that interesting, kind of gave me peace of mind that when I bought my house, uh, my house last year, I thought, okay, I'm making the right decision here, right? And for certain markets, especially the one I'm in, I think for the next five years or so, you're gonna make an insane investment on your money, um, more so than you probably could have in the last 10, 15 years. So made this whole video just to say that timing is everything in the real estate world. And I think the timing is now, right? Anytime you're looking at buying real estate, it's not, oh, let me wait for this, wait for that, wait for this. There's always gonna be a higher interest rate. There's always gonna be a higher price. Something's gonna be at your disadvantage later and not everything's perfect now and never will be. The only thing that is for sure is that the housing market is probably gonna appreciate if you have the house for a while um, and not gonna decline. And if it does decline, you hold on to it or it'll most likely recover always. So just a little tidbit. If you guys got any questions or anything, hit with a message and do me a quick favor while you're on this video. I want you to destroy, absolutely obliterate the like button for that YouTube algorithm. Do the best I possibly can on here. Another, do, do me another solid here and that is destroy, obliterate the subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.